Hello, hello. Now it's time to check the demo of uh, the Thaumaturge. This is a pretty interesting isometric turn-based RPG with an interesting setting and uh, graphic style. Now, let's see if this is uh, any good. First of all, let's check the options here on the, on the game. Okay, borderless, resolution, brightness. Yeah, let's add some brightness here. Okay. Resolution. Scaling. Hmm. Oh, okay. So this one has DLSS. Okay. Let's go for quality. Now, the moment we have 100 plus FPS here on the menu. Hmm. Okay. It even ha has uh, support for uh, NVIDIA Reflex. For a 10 based game, hmm, that's interesting. Overall quality, epic. Okay. Now let's see. Global lumen. Okay. Oh, look at that. They actually have added a theme deck uh, setting. Okay, that's pretty good. Nice. Okay. I like how Steam Deck is uh, slowly becoming an uh, industry standard for uh, PC games if they want to get extra points for uh, having support for that. Apply changes, yep. Now, is there a cap for uh, the frames here? Hmm. Okay, I don't see one. Okay, gameplay, text language. Let's see what language there are here. Oh, okay, only Polish and English. Combat difficult level, challenge, story. Okay, so there are two difficult. Just story mode than the normal one. Dialogues, keeping your spacebar. Press and hold F. Let's go for this one so we don't miss. Uh, <laughs> press space by accident. Okay. Let's see, sound effects, get this to 90, music volume, okay, let's go like this, oh, sorry, mouse and keyboard, okay, controller, oh, so you can play this with a controller too, okay, exploration and combat, huh. where is the... Okay, so here we can just change the sensitivity and invert the axis of the mouse. Is there... Can we customize the controllers on the keyboard? Hmm, I don't think so. And accessibility now. Let's see what's here. Text size, color blind mode, and game cursor. Enable the feature, turns the boring system cursor into a beautiful game cursor. Huh? Okay. Oh, okay. It changed the cursor here on the normal Windows one and uh, the one in game. Yeah, I guess some people might be using the Windows uh, enhanced cursor to see it better. Okay. This in options. Now, let's start and see how this game plays. Local say the station is haunted at night. Yeah, I didn't manage to read that. Thaumata is a word derived from Greek. It means miracles. A thaumaturge or a timbermancer is one able to discover secrets lingering in persons or places. They recognize flaws or stigmas imprinted on the human psyche and can bring them to the surface. Are they a doctor of souls? It is impossible to fully name the essence of the thaumaturge without being born one. Okay. Yeah, we have a cinematic. I wonder if we're going to be able to play the opening uh, chapter of this game on the demo. For years I've been seeing you in my dreams. 
and lately more and more. I know it's you, but I can no longer recognize your face. I don't know if I'd recognize you if I saw you. I hope your condition hasn't worsened much since you last wrote. I can hardly imagine what a nightmare you're going through. Remember, you're not alone. Okay, that's interesting. Is that his guiding spirit or something? I'm sure our father would be happy to help if only you asked him. I assure you that for now, I haven't said a word to him about your search or your health. Just as you requested. He doesn't know your intention. And with God as my witness, he'll not find out from me. I know you think the only thing that can help you is a miracle. But such itinerant miracle workers, preachers and folk mystics often take advantage of those in grave condition who are desperate or seeking help. I hope the man you're pursuing can actually ease your mind. But if not, remember that in the end, we will find a way to help you. Mm, I wonder Just because we can't see it now does not mean it doesn't exist. Does he want to get rid of the spirits? Send word as soon as you get there. I want to know you are safe. With as much love as I have. Rikia. Oh, that's a impatient uh, fandom there. Yeah, this game takes place in Poland, I think. And I guess it's uh, inspired by the folklore uh, tales of that uh, country. It's interesting seeing RPG games on different settings that we usually have. Could you spare a moment for me? I'd like to send a telegram. Of course. Pardon me, sir, but are you feeling all right? Yes, thank you. You're not looking your best. Thank you. What's your message? Go ahead and dictate your message. First, play a trick on him. Hmm. Well, he was pretty considerate, but yeah. Oh, by the way, what's this one? Oh, okay, so we can see here the whole dialogue. Okay. And let's see, what kind of tricks can we play on him? Take this down, please. Arrived. Very beautiful views. People honest at first glance. Sincerely, your barely living cripple. I didn't mean to cause offense. Well, then strike that, please. <laughs> Take this down, please. Arrived. I think I have found him. I hope he will receive me. I will write as soon as I am able. End payment? On receipt. Anything to add at the end? Hmm. Said Green is your sister. Aggravate your father. Don't add anything. Let's do this in the sister. Please add my love to you, my sister. Touching. Thank you. From whom? My name is Viktor Shulski. S Z U L S K I. And Victor with a W, not a V. Interesting name. Where's this headed? Warsaw, Russia. And this is supposedly Georgia. Russia here and Russia there. Russia everywhere, on every map. Maps change. True. I know, I know. Let's get on with it. Pardon? I was talking to myself. Which way to the village? The coachman is picking up the mail. Maybe he'll give you a ride. Thank you. Lonely. Okay. 
Now, let's see. Is this guy gonna help us? Uh... Oh, you can move freely with only locations. Find the miracle work in the village. Yeah, I wonder if we have... Yeah, some uh, abilities and this guy is gonna help us uh, figure them out. Okay. Oh, so we can use the mouse to look around. Can we zoom in? Oh, wait, we can. Okay, graphics wise, this game is pretty good. I like it. Can we. Oh, oh what is this thing? Perception. Okay. Now let me check the menu here. Okay, our inventory. Letter from Lydia. Grimoire. I never part with it. Money. Revolver. And passport. A passport to the Russian Empire that allows travel abroad and within the country. Hmm. Oh, stereoscopic photographs. Fashion magazines and gramophone recordings. I guess those are collectibles we can get. It is. Oh, and here is my my gear, I guess. Okay, so we can change costumes later on, I guess. Map. Oh. Okay, this is the map of the room. The building here. The town. Can we go further up? No. Transcacia. Transcacia, whatever. <laughs> this thing is next to Transylvania. Okay, belonging, stomaturgy. Oh. Okay, so. Art, mind, deed, and word. So these are different schools. Huh. Okay. Here we can see. Oh, your bond is weakened and in danger of collapsing. Well, that's why we have to go and uh, find this guy. We're losing our powers. Okay, so it's... As we progress on this tree, we unlock different spirits, I guess. Uh, what is this thing? Upgrades, quick attacks, plan attacks. Okay. Flow. Many people have flows, but only thaumaturgists are aware of their existence. Uh, these are blemishes. Come on, why this thing is always doing like that? These are blemishes on a personality created as a result of turbulent experiences. They attract salutors that, that, and allow young thaumaturgists to make pact with their first salutor. Oh, those are the spirits. Your flow is pride. If you nurture it by making it right choices, it will impact the course of events in the future. Acquired flows. Oh, and here we can see our spirit. Okay, interesting design. We can see the abilities of this guy. Hmm, okay, I guess we're gonna check this later. Okay, here we have entries on our journal. Oh, okay, we have some lore uh, we're gonna read here. Hmm. Okay, nice. First Salutor. He came to me more than 15 years ago and I offered him my heart and the flow of pride I carry. By trying to capture others, I fell into a spiral of torment and exhaustion that cost me my connection to Upir or Upir. I can no longer use his power, not ever fully see him, where both Santos are all selves. I cannot help him, but I've heard of someone who can. Hmm, what is this thing? This is another spirit we can summon. Okay, here are the characters. Letters, locations. Okay. This is a pretty um, detailed menu here. Okay. Now let's see, what is that? Now let's see. Dear Django, please stop with a tender snobbery and listen to what I tell you. Times are changing. You can no longer rely solely on property ownership. The peasants are different now, and it's not at all clear how things will turn out in the coming years. You just have to look. Whenever you're, you turn, you hear about revolts and peasant guerrillas going at the lords with pitchforks. We have to protect ourselves. We have something on, on the side. It's a business that will allow us to live with dignity. That's why I'm telling you for the last time. Go to the bank in Tiflis and take a loan against half of our assets in the Caucasus. Invest it in the old business in Baku. The railroad is already getting there. The world needs kerosene. You need to act. I will send you all the documents and authorization. Don't delay any longer. Greetings, Lou. Okay, so this is just before the 
the revolution in Russia and the drop of the Tsar, uh, the fall of the Tsar, and uh, etc. And before it break up uh, the empire. And uh, let's see, lost letter. Dear Andoni, I feel like ages have passed since your last letter. Or maybe it's just the winter that makes everything good and warm seem distant. As you can guess, the life of exile does not spoil me. Years ago, I was uprooted from my homeland and sent to foreign land among foreign people to fight under the Russian banner. And how am I today? I live along people who hate me. I'm losing my health and my mind and cultivating the land that I fertilized with the blood of and flesh of its sons. And I can't live here. I can't stop reminiscing. Death seems to be my only means of escape. Please pray for me, Constanti. Yes, I don't think this letter will make it through the censorship, but if it does, please tell Anyalka that the thought of her brought me solace. Until the very end. Hmm. Uh, it's pretty cool that they actually added uh, small touches like these letters here that gives extra lore and uh, try to um, uh, transfer us to this setting. Now oh, let's see. Oh. Oh, some, something on the graphics there. Perception. As a thaumaturge, you possess exceptional perception. You can see things that are hidden from sight. You can anticipate the enemy's actions. You can follow traces of emotions, thoughts, actions, and words, and you can reach uh, your goal easier. Okay, what's more? Oh, okay, here we can. Okay. Yeah, as I said before, pretty interesting graphics. I like the mix of 3D with the isometric view. Now, let's see the perception. Okay, it automatically zooms out when we use it. Okay, so we're losing touch with our powers, I guess. That's why we need to find this guy. Okay, he needs something. The Tiflis Herald. The tragic events of August 29 have, have cast a shadow on the city of Tiflis, leaving it in deep mourning. Yesterday, rally where a reform proposals set out by Minister Alexander Bulijin or Bulijin. By the way, sorry if I butcher any names and uh, with, with my pronunciation here. All the names are Slavic in nature here, so yeah, we'll have some issues. Where to be discussed was brutally interrupted by Cossack troops that stormed inside the municipal municip municipal ah fort building. I mean, okay. Armed Cossacks entered the conference room, wreaking havoc in the turmoil. Sixty people were killed, and over one hundred were injured. People are shocked at another instance of unjustified aggression against the nation of Georgia. Many believe more mass strikes are inevitable. Okay. For some reason, the word. What? What was that? Oh, no, I wasn't fast enough to read that. Anyway, let's see what this guy needs. Hello. Are you going to the village by any chance? Hello there. Where else? There's nowhere to go here, sir. The station, the village, and the cemetery, that's all. A horse can't go any higher. The village is what interests me. Well, if you've got reason to be there, climb in. Hmm, okay. Say so thank you and get in. Ask if there's a healer in the village. Ask if he waits for a little longer. Let's ask this thing first. So is it just locals living in the village? Who else would want to live in a shit hole like this? I actually meant, is there anyone visiting, a guest? You came for some healing? Well, he's no guest here. He's been here months, my friend. The people are tormented, so he sure got folks to heal. Where might I find him? I bet he's still in the tavern. He prays this time of day. He prays a heck of a lot. You getting in or what? Yeah, yeah, give me a second. Wait a bit. Can you wait for me a minute? I want to take a look around. Well, I'm not going to leave you now, am I? Thank you. Okay, thanks, dude. Oh, let's see. Anything else? I don't think there is anything else here. 
But yeah, let's check either way. Okay, I think we've done everything here. Let's go. All set. I'd be grateful. Always nice to have someone to shoot the breeze with. A good tip for visitors may be to avoid consuming yellow snow at all costs. <laughs> what kind of tip was that? Nothing to see around here. This is everything. Hard to get lost in this place. Head to the tavern over there past the little square up the steps. They'll tell you where that preacher's at. Or this time of day he'll be there himself. Thank you. Okay, give me a moment. Now let's use our detective vision. Okay, that way. Yeah, we can move around with WSD and check around with the with the mouse and keyboard. Okay, now let's keep exploring uh, this uh, place. Now, before we go on the main objective, what other things can we do here? Okay, here is the edge, so we cannot... Oh, we actually can move further up. Oh, here is the edge. Okay, I guess you cannot interact with a lot of things. By the way, there are some frame drops here, and then now let me check some things here. Mm. Okay, I think it's smoother now. Hello, guys. Oh, what's that? Loretaria, Lore. Loretariatis Brigiola. Soon the day will come when the people will throw off their hated shackles. With one stroke of the mighty arm, hardened by work and struggle with misery, they will get rid of the despised char. Yeah, as I said, this is just before the, the fall of the char. May the recent events, so agonizing for many, be a torch that will kindle the flame of a just revolution. It will only take a few people to raise their hands proudly and abandon their work for the flame to become an inferno that will consume the oppressor and cleanse our lands. It is already happening. Workers in major cities are preparing for action, and the country folk are also joining the fray. The hour of trial is upon us. Let us not lose heart. Okay. We'll have to go inside. Now, yeah, let's see what's here. Gentlemen, is this the tavern here? Hey, Putnik. You coming from far? Indeed, I'm tired. Nice boots. Are they warm? Mm, son of fear. Aye, indeed. You're not looking for trouble, so you're just passing through. A proud answer. It not only draws you from your flow of pride level, but it will also feed it even more. Oh. I think this flow is connected with my salmon. Fuck it, let's go. Actually, I have particularly warm boots. Thanks. And sooner or later, it'll come back to bite them. Don't tempt me, Luca. Don't tempt me. Give me a sec. Got to sort out formalities with this tourist. Either's Nami. We're the Tsar's soldiers. Okay, and? Those don't look like soldiers' faces. Closer to thieves. I don't think he'll talk to us voluntarily. No. Okay, we need a uh, fight here. Victor conditions. When your enemy loses all their health points, you win the fight. No shit. The enemy's health points are shown on bars below their feet, while your health points are represented by a bar in the bottom left. Okay. Start the fight. 
Okay, so this turn base, we have quick attack, inflicts damage 5 to 6, and plan attack, it's slow, and inflicts... Okay, this can one-shot this guy. Okay, let's do this. Let's, uh... <laughs> let's show, show them who is the boss here. Okay, cool animation. Fuck you. See, that's how you do it. Oh, you fucker! You're gonna damage my clothes. Action skill. Well, perception allows you to anticipate the enemy's action to find out what they are planning and hold the action queue at the top of the screen. I oh, like how this thing moves. Skill speeds. Each skill has its own speed. Slower skills are more powerful but require preparation, bringing the risk of an enemy attacking first. Okay, I guess we asserted dominance by getting this guy fast. Now let's see. How do we use the perception thingy? Precision cut. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. If we do this, we're gonna act for him. Oh, even if we do this thing, we act before him. But I think I can squeeze two hits if I use that. So that's about... Uh, now, if we do max damage, that's 12 points. Mm, okay, fine. Let's go for two quick hits. In your face. Now, this exceeds the speed. He will attack first. Can I do anything? Uh, focus 8. Okay, I guess the focus will be something we're going to use later on. With them, our spirits. Yeah, you fucker. Now, let's finish with a big hit. Fuck you. Serves the Ruskies right. They won't report us. They'll be too embarrassed to admit some cripple got the better of them. <laughs> yeah, now all the locals like me. Fuck you guys. And we got a thaumaturgy point. What was that? Is that a... Oh, let's see. Thaumaturgy points. On the Grimoire's cover, there are available thaumaturgy points that you can spend on a tree. Purchase skill upgrades, improve your powers within any dimension, and hunt saltors to enable further development. Okay. 60% mm, chance of dealing double damage. Restore focus. Okay, I'm gonna choose what to do with that point later on. Okay, so as I said before, you can move with WSD or you can uh, use the mouse and move around. And yeah, I think this will be easily playable with a controller. Okay, let's go. Let the dog. Okay, let's go in. Okay, I guess we go. That's the guy we are waiting for. Oh, Rasputin? Seriously, Rasputin is the one who's gonna teach us about the... Diamond words. Okay, let's read this thing. News from the Yerevan. Our correspondents report that the newly appointed governor general in the Yerevan province, Prince Napoleon Louis Yoyas Jerome Bonaparte, has just arrived in town. Oh, so that's... Okay, <laughs> the highest officials were present at the welcoming ceremony. Followed by a dinner with uh, representatives from Yerevan's most eminent families. The Governor General address to the townspeople in, is expected in the next few days. Yeah, okay. Now we know the setting. Yes, that was just. After the. Uh, I think it is before the Napoleon Wars. Anyway, let's see. But he's already called the. Uh, yeah, oh well, let's see. Yeah, he was before he named himself the Emperor. Forgive me, sir. Is your name Grigory Efimovich Rasputin? Rasputin. Ra, ra, Rasputin. I forgive you. I'm sorry. It's just I've been looking for you for a very long time and. And you expected a thinking simpleton. 
an illiterate who swindles sick people and claims he can speak to God himself. I already said I forgive you. Yes, I've heard. Especially in Petersburg. I've also heard about the healings, even hopeless cases, inexplicable ones. And what do you believe in? Say you believe in his miraculous power, say you want to say it for yourself. If you help me, I'll believe all of it. And please believe me when I say I've tried everything short of a miracle. And I know the meaning of that word. I'm a thaumaturge. Where are you coming from? Mm. Explain how you take him down, say you were born in Warsaw. Let's go with the second one. I'm from Warsaw. So, from Russia. Poland. From which Poland? The Russian one, the German one, or the part that belongs to Austria? From Warsaw. Do you have a name? Viktor Shulski. On my path, I've already come across people who've lied to me about their problems, and then gone around calling me a charlatan. Hmm. After them, others arrived, with pitchforks and torches, and I had to endure insults and spit in my face, or flee for my life. And now you say you're a wizard from an imaginary country that no one has seen on a map in over a hundred years. Forgive my amusement. I haven't had my first coffee yet. Yeah, I feel I you do. I forgive you, and I'm still asking for help. Prove your thaumaturge, and I'll hear what you have to say. Hmm. Accept the challenge and mean you are not to hide your powers. Yeah, I, I think the whole point is that we have issues with uh, connect with our spirit. You know, actually accept the challenge. Hmm. Let's go with the safe one. That's partly the issue I wanted to speak to you about. Does that mean you give up? That means I'll try, but I, I don't know. All right, all right. I've met a few of your kind, so I know what you're capable of. Find something in this tavern that belongs to me, and tell me something only I could do. Oh, okay, I guess we're gonna use our super First, perception. First, I need to have something personal that belongs to you to learn your trace. It's a sort of pattern I'll use to recognize the other objects. Smell this. Prayer beads. Ten worn prayer beads with a 30 woolen knots. The zeal gushing from the beads impreg impregnates the wool better than a tallow from the owner's strong fingers. The object pulses with a mixture of blue rapture, purple passion, and graphite fierceness. The touch of the beads burns, but it also attracts. Okay. With a trace of Rasputin. Draw conclusion. Rasputin whiz. Rasputin has a magnetic zeal and passion. He is a man with an attractive personality, strong and fierce, who is easy to follow. One just has to be careful not to get burned by the flame of his ardor. Okay. Say that you are now got everything you need. Well, let's examine the object first. Mm -hmm. Have okay. you figured anything out yet? I'll return to you in a moment. I can hardly wait. Yeah, yeah. Let me prove you that I have uh, superpowers here. Let's see observations. Observations are information that you can acquire by interacting with people and items. Observations make up conclusions, a valuable source of knowledge about the world and the events that can help you in different situations. Let's see, perception and objects. Some tourists possess perception, which allows them to read other people's emotions, actions, words and thoughts left items. In order to recognize them, you must develop the heart, deed, word and mind dimensions sufficiently. By the way, because this thing goes on a loop, you, we have this flask, see? But because this is a short gif, yeah, the, the this loop feels uh, like this is flashing. I thought something was wrong with my graphic options. Okay, let's see. I think, oh my god, fuck this for lasting. For some items, you will find trace on summer personality. It takes one of three forms, unknown, familiar, certain. Traces are only revealed once you pass on a perception of the item. Okay, sorry, let me close that so no one has issue with the flashing thing. 
Reduce percept to reveal what is hidden. Hmm. Okay, plenty of items around. Let's examine this thing. You'll be mine, secret. Dirty ball. A dirty ball that someone has eaten it stew from. Demands of force too low. Okay, I guess we're gonna track this thing. Failed again. A penitential device for voluntary self mortification of the body. Uh, too low on the mind. Oh, let's see. An ornate prayer book containing prayers for the Russian Orthodox Rite. It vibrates with languishing moan of delight. The touch of silk, the scent of carpal powder. But that which is soft and warm is also pierced by thorn of impending separation and longing. Okay, draw a conclusion. Rasputin's passions. Who would have thought that this priest had such a passion? Surprisingly, the mask of a healer conceals an outstanding lover, irresistible to women's heart and bodies. Perhaps this is one of his healing methods. Yeah, they were talking about how Rasputin was a huge womanizer. Uh, okay, let's talk to this guy. What have you learned, wizard? Well, you're a zealous man. It permeates every level of your personality, your faith, your abilities. Not such an impressive discovery. I haven't finished yet. In Petersburg, you left behind a very devoted and very young lady-in-waiting. At least one, my friend. Have a seat. Tell me again, why were you looking for me? Hmm. I like how they actually, on a lot of games that want to have uh, some uh, metaphysical crazy situations on this era, they use Rasputin. I'm pretty sure I have, uh, there was another Japanese RPG with, um, what, was, what, what was that? The Devil's Summoner game that has some Russian guys there and Rasputin was a, <laughs> a summoner of sorts. Anyway, let's see what's all about the Rasputin in this game. Mm, tell him what problem you got. Ask about the lady in waiting for Pittsburgh. Yeah, let's go for this one first. I can't help but ask you about that young lady from Petersburg. <laughs> Careful. I'm starting to like you. But not enough to tell you about Petersburg. How do you think I might help you? <sighs> a few years ago, I attempted to catch a wild saluter, and that ended with me losing contact with my first salutor. That means I can't develop my abilities. I know that my Uber is there. Sometimes he shows himself, but I can't feel the link anymore. Generally speaking, I'm losing it more and more each day. If it disappears, my mind... I'll lose my sense of reality. I'll fall into madness. I don't know if I can help you. Hmm. Let's see. Say so you're prepared to beg. Say so you can pay him well. Let's go with I've that. Got money, if that's what matters. Let's feed the bride. Give it to the needy. Your riches mean nothing to me. I meant I don't know if I'm able to help you. My gift is something I've received from God. Some I've helped, others I can't say. And I've never treated a thaumaturge. Maybe just do the same with me as with the others. We can try. Focus on my voice. You are safe. Oh, he has hypnosis? As, long as you can hear my voice, you are safe. Let me gaze into your mind. Let me see through your eyes. Let me in. Hmm. Rasputin, there is no one here. Okay, we're into the, our mind, I guess. Hmm, shadows of sins past. Find a way. Oh, here is my... Come on. Hello? I need to get out of here. Yeah, no shit. 
Okay, full of spirit. The sound cycles. How did I gonna find fight my spirit again? That's how we're gonna connect with it. Connect through combat. Let's see if I'm right. You're blind. Oh, this is our father. You've never grasped the science of spotting the perfectly obvious. Can you still not see? What do I supposedly not see? Flaw clouds your vision. It always has. Pride. Your damned pride and sense of superiority. I must have gotten that from you, father. You lose, idiot. You always do. You're even losing against yourself. Mm. You can't see, but can you at least hear? You're weak, stupid, and blind. Okay, what now? What are those, those shackles? Do you hear me? Do you? Do you? Okay, what is this creepy thing? I can see, Father. Clearly. Okay, time for a combat, I guess. Oh. Okay, that was abrupt. Will you be lying there much longer? I wanted to sweep. Well, I guess we're healed. Our eyes look better. Where's Rasputin? In the cemetery, chasing away evil spirits and giving people comfort. You all right? Yes, yes. Absolutely. I wanted to sweep. I'm just heading out. <laughs> okay, now what's up? It's so good to see you again. And something else. I saw him clear as day. It wasn't a vision. It was a salutar, unbound by a pact. Oh, well, that's one of our one. second summon? And if so, that means there's someone in the village with a flaw that's attracting it. Hmm. Okay, that's You're our next mission, I guess. Me? I was praying. I wanted to sweep. Yeah, lady, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna move out, chill. Okay, that loading was a bit weird there. Now, oh, let's see, what else is here? Hmm, okay. I guess there is nothing here we can interact with. Let's go out. Multiple objectives. Quest have multiple objectives freely switch for uh, the one you'd like to track. After switching, the objective will reveal a path to follow. Sometimes this path is so mysterious that it eludes even an experienced thaumaturge. No worries, the remaining objectives will provide a way to solve the quest. Okay. So I guess there are multiple paths to solve the quest. Okay. Oh, but I have one point to add here to my thaumaturge. That's all I get. I think this is the spirit we saw in the vision. The perception one. Hmm. Double damage is not bad. Hmm. Your bond is restored thanks to Rasputin health. And this one gives me this action, I guess. I, I'm pretty sure there will be a tutorial for this one later. What do we have? So let's here? keep going. Hello? Aha! Uh -huh. Let's. Okay, what is this thing? 
They'll go gawk, but without lifting a finger. Just Vesna will bring it, Vesna will help. But if Vesna needs help with something, there's nobody to be found. Oh, and we've got a point just like that. Hmm. That's not yours, don't touch. All these newcomers causing more problems. Hmm. Is this the one we are looking for? Let's see, find the person with the flow that the wild salutor is seeking. Find Rasputin at the cemetery. I guess we have to do both. Now, which soul I get first? Uh, anything else here? Oh, is my grimoire glowing? It's time, yeah, it's glowing. It's time we do this. Oh, okay. Now, let's see. Is there anything near the entrance of the of the hotel? Okay, with this guy. Oh, here's Excuse the coachman. I need to get to the local cemetery. Could you give me a lift? I've only just come back from the post office this morning. I'm not getting the horse going again. Back to the cemetery? It's not like anyone there is going to run away. Look, my horse is more dead than alive. Hmm. The coach one doesn't want to take me to the cemetery. If I use my power, I should be able to change his attitude. Uh, Sounding good to a loot. Keep searching. Yeah, yeah. I haven't checked the whole village yet. I'll be right back. Okay, I guess we're gonna interact with this guy later. Manipulation. Using thaumaturgy, you can manipulate other people. First, you must know a person's secret, which you can learn by making conclusions. If the manipulation is available, the character interaction icon will change, and the use and the UP will appear next to the character. Oh, okay. So we can manipulate the minds of others with our crazy powers. Okay, so far this is a more story-heavy RPG than a uh, one with combat. But there seems to be a lot of talents that they... Uh, oh, what is this thing? That has to do with combat, so I guess there will be both at some point. Protected char makes of strings, sticks and feathers. It's uh, supposed to protect the residents from the influence of evil powers. Okay. Was there something here? No. Oh, what's this one? I felt something. Where is it? It's right in front of us. Dead goose. Someone or something strangled this goose. From the goose's twisted neck flows the anger and passion of the person who slaughtered the poor bird. The wave of emotions carries no desire for meat or feathers, all the sour taste of envy and the desire for all of Bogdan's property to go to hell. Oh, I guess we're gonna solve this one. There is another thing to examine. One second. Salt on the doorstep. Salt on the doorstep protects the from unwanted visitors and other misfortunes. Okay, let's see. Over my dead body, I reject this verdict. Well, I expected as much, and he wanted to come see you himself. He was first to judge. I said what I said, and I won't change my mind. Go away, you're attracting gawkers. Not gawkers, a witness, and let him listen. He'll see it fairly. Sir, this liar and thief here stole a memento of my mother, and this witch says I'm supposed to hand my goose over to him, too. Because you strangled mine. Now, what do I care about some trinkets your mother left you? Because we already know you strangled the goose, but you still haven't proved that Bogdan stole your pendant. Where is the justice here? Hmm. 
Okay, the conflicting neighbors. A dead goose lies between the quarreling pheasants. The obvious bone of contention here. If the wise woman is to settle the dispute, she'd better do it quickly. It will come to fistcuffs in a moment. Okay, let's draw a conclusion here. It seems that the neighbors quarreled over a goose strangle in an act of revenge. Classic of the Zender. Uh, make an atolic calm. We need heart. Can I actually do this? Support the wise woman verdict. Then at all his side. Let's make him calm. Why don't you relax and listen to the words of a wise woman? Oh, we make the symbol of the heart well, to do that. All in all, it's. Uh, I'm sorry, Bogdan. Hmm. Come inside and tell me what you're doing here. Oh, he know about the thaumaturges. Oh, we got experience. Okay, almost halfway to the next level. Yes, he has salt on her door, so I guess he knows some things about the uh, metaphysical elements. Mm. Oh, what is this thing? Sorry, lady. Give me a second. Unfinished letter. So, so. My dear son, my heart is crying. Have I armed you so that you write about me like this? That you renounce your legacy, your land, and your blood. I never said a word to you when you refused to farm with us, nor when you went to Tiflis to study. And now you're calling us stupid. Backward. You repeat after that uh, rector of yours. Kustensky, that Georgian, your language, is the language of dogs? And you want to write to me only Russian? Child. Georgia flows in your blood. It is the salt in your tears and the glue in your bones. You will not renounce here. You can't. Huh. Oh, and also we get experience the more we learn things about uh, everything, I guess. Diary of an Oplate Priest. Okay, this is a big one. They say that every nation has its demons. Its phantoms, ghosts, and nightmares were created to make naughty children behave. But they have gone halfway around the world preaching the word of God and learned the truth. These demons, fiends, and devils cursed by God are real. And they are everywhere. In distant Sirmia, people whisper the name Bukavak. A cruel beast whose presence brings wrath and commands people to inflict violence on their neighbor. A fairy tale, you say, but I have seen Bukavak here in Yati Korsk. I hear the rattle of his chains. Oh, this is the guy I'm gonna find. And felt his fangs dinging into my neck and tanging at every fiber of my soul. And I felt the fury that his uh, this wrath brings with it. The anger from which there is no escape. The taste of blood in my mouth that no prayer can erase. May the holy walls of the Oplate Church stop this beast. Bless Virgin, keep me safe. And we've got some experience too. Nice. So it's actually worth reading everything you're getting experience. Now well, let's see. The villagers seem to have a certain respect for you, ma'am. So I wanted to ask your help with something. I'm not getting any younger, boy. Talk before I drop dead. Hmm. Something continues to elude you. Keep searching. Okay, so the, we have two options that we cannot ask here about. Uh, thank you, sir, taking advantage of the superstitious. No. We'll, we'll be back then, later. I hope you'll still be alive when I get back, madam. Yeah, let's get get back to her later. There are still two options we cannot tell her about. Hmm. I'm sorry, Bogan. I'm sorry. Okay, so this guy now is a uh, chill. Oh, thing. am I sensing? No, that's the hand curved and laboratory painted wooden box. Dimension force too low. Okay. Can I enter this thing? I wanted to talk. Ma'am, please open the door. Oh, is there a lady with the apples? Please go. We didn't invite any guests over. I'm telling you, go away or I'll call for help. Help! Help! Somebody help me! What are you doing here, you tramp? I'm not looking for trouble. I just wanted to talk. We'll talk, all right. Oh, come on, Cobot. 
Oh, really, guys? Mm. Okay, start the fight. Improve Thunder Turgy. Well, now I have two points. So, fire. Let's get here. Let's see. Perfect efficiency. Makes every attack on the enemy deal the maximum possible damage. Oh. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, we need more, more for that. Here's our boy. Mm. Okay. Now let's start. Okay, guys, let's do this. Strong attacks and focus. In order to launch a strong attack against an enemy, you must take away all their focus, causing them to enter the breakdown state. Strong attacks are much more powerful than other skills and allow the fight to end quicker. Huh. Select the distraction skill to lower an enemy focus. Okay. Each one of them have only one point of focus, so let's use that. You and your cell door. Each have your own separate set of skills. Plan which one you want to use and give the cell door an appropriate command. Mm, I reduce focus, removes all negative states from you. Inflict damage, the target health points determines how much damage the skill inflicts. The more health points, the higher the damage. Inflicts damage, restore your health by zero, which is half of what you have lost. Oh, okay. Each subconscious action that restores health points will restore less of it. Mm. Okay, so this works better on people with more HP. Strong attack opportunity. The enemy has lost all their focus and is now on breakdown stage. It's a great chance to launch a strong attack. What the hell? Bye bye. Okay, let's make him lose focus again. Let's go for the big attack. And Concion, <laughs> let's go. Okay, nice and easy. The devil sent you. You could say that, sure. That's it. That there is all the issue. The village residents, if thinking interferes with their action, so much the worse of for thinking. The locals are impetuous, irritable, and eager to pick a fight for even the most trivial reason. Something is not right here. Yeah, it's the influence of that spirit, I guess, because of the spirit of violence. Oh, okay, there is some screen tearing. Mm. Why I cannot use this thing? Yeah, why the vising is... Uh... Let's see. Can I use the vising now? Okay. Okay, now my, this might be better. Okay, now let's see. Can I talk to this lady now? I wanted to talk. Ma'am, please open the door. Please go. We didn't invite any guests over. Please, 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 please. Hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the, the one that has the issue. Okay. Okay, there's something that way. Anything over here? Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, the influence of that demon makes everyone way more violent. Okay, there is some hints there. These shards. Broken shards of the blue ceramic disc. The broken ceramic trembles with anger and frustration. The quarrel erupted suddenly, spewing at 
pile of mutual complaints and grievances. It sweeps and pensions taste stupid fight, compelled screaming, finger pointing and hurting. The frenzy lasted until only Wolf were out of breath. Raise certain Vesna. Okay. Damage Aksaft. A damage Aksaft that raise it bears does not belong to Vesna. The sap is overgrown with a thorn of bitter words, but there are others. Worm, delicate as rose petals. They betray a love for someone who is not afraid of thorns. A love that is difficult but not accepting of violence. Huh. Okay, let's see what's my conclusion. Domestic squabbles. In this house lives a married couple who do not mince their words. They argue violently, loudly, until they are out of breath. But they are persist together, despite everything. Okay, so this has nothing to do with uh, my issue. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we can enter. Or can I? Can I tell her something about? Let's see here. I wanted to talk. Please go. We did. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, we cannot enter. And unfortunately, we cannot do anything with that. Oh, uh, before we. Go to the cemetery. Is there something new we can talk uh, with the wise lady? I think I'll have to go to the cemetery first. You've been going in so many circles, your head will spin. Mm. Well then, I hope you'll still be... Yeah, yeah. See you later. Yeah, I don't want to accuse her of... Uh, <clears throat> uh, taking advantage of the villagers here. First, I want to see what's up. Now, let's see. Can I convince this guy to get me to the cemetery now? We cannot talk to him yet? Oh, what is this? Aha! Uh -huh. The soul still showed traces of mud and ice. The coachman had to free the wagon wheels from the soft soil that had engulfed them. Okay. Okay, I guess so we have to talk to the lady. Oh, what is this thing? Let's see. The coachman used the rack to wipe the sweats from his forehead. The rack reeks, reeked with a sour odor of fatigue. Attempts to free the wheels from the soft soil made the spine crack like a fish bone. The muscles burned with fire. And no one would help. Such a, was his job. That was his fate. Mm, okay, I guess we can manipulate him now. The coachman is tired and weary. He's worked hard and unloading the wagon alone. And all he dreams of is a moment of rest. I can relieve his suffering. Okay, I guess we're gonna heal him. Hmm. Mm, give me a second here. So I guess there is something here. But what? Uh, let's see. Did I miss anything? No. Can I go down here? Okay, nothing. Hmm. What is this thing? Hmm. 
No, I think we checked everything here. So yeah, fuck it. Let's go. Let's accuse accuse the wise woman and see what's up. Brother, can I save? Oh yeah, okay. We can make a save here. Let's see if this fucks things up. You've been going in so many. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people benefit from your wisdom. They're superstitious and timid, as far as I've been able to figure out. Easy to control, right? Pot calling kettle. That, my boy, that you can ask that charlatan with fancy dress and beard. Who takes advantage of who here? Bah! The people here are believers, of course. But the spirit in the village is real, too. Mm. Is this spirit you're talking about, not a person? I heard it howling. That's nothing human. One evil spirit here persecutes people, and you can hear it now and then, sometimes. Tragedies attract it, and impure thoughts. Yeah, we know. We here call it a Bukovac. But other places probably call it other things. An evil spirit's an evil spirit. It torments people and turns their weaknesses against them. And what if I told you I could get rid of it? I'd say I'll believe it when I see it. And I'd ask, how else can I help you? Hmm. Okay, I cannot do anything else here. Well then, I hope you'll still... So I was right to wait for this lady. So first, we have to find the... Rasputin to get more information about who is that attracts the spirit here. And then we're gonna talk to the wise lady again. Okay, let's go. Cemetery. Run. I'm not going anywhere. Make the cotsman, cotsman's fatigue go away. Maybe you'll change your mind and drop me off at the cemetery after all. Hmm? Well, on the other hand. This place isn't much more exciting than the cemetery. I meant to take the horse out for a run, so get on. Hmm, okay. So far, I like this uh, si dialogue system and uh, the system with the powers. Let's see. After each funeral, the entire village is invited to. Ah, that was too fast. Yeah, I guess uh, the game loads uh, pretty fast on the SSD. <laughs> we cannot read the, the tips. I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is the edge. Now we're putting. Let's see. Are there more stuff around? No luck. Elder Vasil's grave. Elder Vasil died only a few years ago and his tombstone was already been damaged. Why? Dimension force too low. What was the dimension one? Dimension it's required for many things. Let's see dimension. Perception. Mm. Let's see. I guess this is the dimension one. Yeah, use the perception demands of mind. Okay. Okay, we're gonna use some points on that tree later on. Uh, already checked that. Hello? Rasputin, what's up, dude? You're alive. Does that mean I helped, Thaumaturge? Mm, thank him for his help. I don't have enough words, sir, to thank you for what you've done for me. I haven't felt this way in... years. I'm glad I could help. Mm. I see him. My Uber. He's A back. Uber. Okay. 
I can feel our bond growing stronger as each moment passes. I'm happy for you, but do restrain your joy. We're in the cemetery. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. When I heard you were at the cemetery, I was sure I'd see you resurrecting the dead. Not yet. Today I'm just praying for rest for Vasily's soul. The whole village is suffering after his loss. He was the elder here. He cursed this place. Since he died, darkness and misfortune have hung over the village. You see? To them, every harm comes down to witchcraft. Well, there actually is a spirit here. They believe that after Vasily's passing, the village was possessed by some monster that howls at night or some other yuffiets. Mm, locals say that since the death of the village elder, a doom has hung over the village. Minor quarrels immediately turn into bloody fights, and people are tense and withdrawn. Things are not looking good. Mm, okay, let's see. Tell him what they, they might be right. Oh, yeah, there is, as you can see, there is some glitching and some weird animations there. But yeah, this is an early build, so keep that in mind. There is a big <laughs> disclaimer up on there. You can see it. Anyway, let's see. Tell him that might be right. Ask the woman about the ill fortune hanging over their villas. Yeah, let's ask about that first. What sorts of things change in the village after the elder died? It's all dreadful, sir. Everything's gone topsy-turvy. When folks get to arguing now, they're so hot-headed. Before you know it, they're at one another's throats. Ladies have no patience for kids, nor lads for ladies, nor neighbors for neighbors. Any word might seem offensive and like an insult waiting to happen. Oh, so it's like Twitter. We've okay. Got to fight. Tragedies such as Vasily's death leave their mark on everyone. It takes time to come to terms with something like this. That doesn't mean this place is possessed by dark forces. Hmm. Let's ask about the death. How did this elder die? There was a fire, sir. Flames shooting sky high, and him burning, swearing, speaking curses. And the curse stuck. Those ruins seem a profaned place. Oh, now. yeah, that's where the spirit the is, I guess. The spirit has taken over the blighted land. Don't encourage her. Once she gets going, it can't be stopped. This could also be the work of a salutor. What do you mean? The elder is death. Vasil's death was not peaceful. The elder died in flames and that consumed his house. The ruins are thought to be cursed and locals speak of them. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go there. As you were healing me, I had a dream, a vision. But on the borderline of sleep and wakefulness, I thought I saw a salutor. That's what might be influencing the villages and wailing at night. They're good people, but none too bright, Victor. I'm afraid they might be talking about a train. The wise woman was saying the evil spirit is a book of hatch. Okay, we're gonna talk to the lady again. Does the creature hunting you rattle chains, slither around, and have a mouth full of giant fangs? A book of hatch. Where did the Zelda live? I'll show you. Hmm, okay. Let's allow Vasily's soul to rest for today. Amen. No, oh, and let's see superstitions. A woman in the cemetery claims the village is haunted by elites. His name is Bukavak. Elich. Okay, the village residents, a peaceful and happy village? Not quite. The villagers are right up and on the point of breaking, laying the blame for their troubles on the actions of Bukavak. They are trying to defend themselves against this dark force with folk methods. Hmm, okay, let's see. They said that Rasputin was a very large individual. This one is normal size. Nah, he's pretty big. He's like one. He's taller than our character, as you can see here. But yeah, when they say he was a large individual, they don't say mean a giant. But hey. Many myths around this uh, person. Okay, let's see. Can I? Oh, give me a second here. Oh, yeah, we have one point. See perception. Yeah, I think this is the mind thingy. Dementia force did. Force did mind. See. This upgrade enables using perception the dimension mind. 
Restore focus. Okay, that's like a healing ability. Give a six percent chance of slowing the enemy's action. Additional skill, we can get this. Action reaction. Is this a counter attack of sorts? Adrenaline rush. Increase damage effect by 50%. Oh, that's pretty good. On this three, there is Thief of Thoughts. So reduce focus by one additional point if the enemy is in the suffering state. And here gives 50% chance of interrupting the enemy's land actions. Hmm. By the way, I think this one was designed on my journal. Where is that? The Saltor. Okay, here we can see the main quest. Mm, conclusions. Saltors. Yeah, here it is. Kukavach. And here is the Paimon. You were so beautiful, fallen angel, full of grace, energy, and color. I thought you will become my teacher, that you will open the world of philosophy art. Huh. Oh, so this was the Salator that he tried to get and failed. Hmm. Okay. That will be probably the last one we're gonna get. Okay, let's go back here. Yeah. No, oh, oh no, this is not the one. Different horns. Okay, well, let's see. Third focus. Long enemy action. Hmm. I wonder, should I keep going with this? Yeah, let, let's keep the points for now. Okay, let's go. Let's travel back. Oh! Okay, so now we can travel around the map. I don't understand why Steam thinks this game is similar to Sea of Stars. Well, it's a turn based RPG, that's why again. We're in Homestead Village. Okay, now first of all, I'm curious. I think I'm gonna go back here first and try to talk to the lady. Then I'm gonna go to the bird in the house. Okay, some slow loading here. Now then let's see, is there a new option? Come on. You've been going in so many. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, nothing yet. Well then, I hope. Okay, I guess there is only one path. We we'll have to go towards the the burn house. Mm, now, I don't remember what did we require here. Dimension force too low word. Okay, what's that? Okay, this one. Mm. And here we need... Word again. Uh, what's that whole three here? Mental defense makes you lose focus instead of taking damage with a ratio of 4 to 1. Huh. Okay. So we take damage to my mana instead of my health, but also we can get this one later to restore focus. Even though this guy actually heals my hit points with one of his abilities. Okay, let's test this thing out. Let's get the one point here. Yeah, develop. Available upgrades. Oh, yeah, we have some upgrades here. Each skill can be upgraded. Place the upgrade in the designated spot on the skill icon. It's upgrade takes some space, choose wisely. Give six percent of dealing double damage. Okay. Perfection ship. Makes every attack on the enemy deal the maximum dam damage possible. Uh, reduce focus. Give 50% chance of interrupting the enemy's planned action. Hmm. Now, let's see. Can I? Oh, we can add it like that. Hmm. Now, this is a pretty quick attack. We can use this to interrupt enemies. 
Perfect efficiency makes every time deal maximum damage. Oh, okay, this only always do three points. Mm, Sixty percent of dealing double damage. Mm. Let's go with this one here. Interrupt the enemy. Can I remove that? Oh yeah, we can remove it. Okay, so no problem. Let's get this thing here. Double damage. So my strong attack does really big points of damage. And makes every enemy attack deal the maximum damage possible. Uh, let, let's get this one here. Okay. Now we have some points worth. Yeah, see, now we can actually do something with these things. The box is marked with a word of sloth, sweet as kisses. The names of Vesna and Luca intertwined, cuddling tenderly against the wood, against the delicate carvings, trying to protect them from dumb and rain. From all the evils, the word carries with it. Okay, price familiar in Pendus person. I guess with those two clues, we might be able to talk to this lady. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. Although it's already become moldy from disuse, it carries the memory of a spirit of the one who willed it. A loner by choice with a disposition as tart as juniper berries. Okay. Draw a conclusion. Domestic squabbles. Okay. Yeah. I guess we figured this out before. Can I talk to this lady again? Give it the first. Please, leave. Okay. Well, we got some experience out of the, those two, so that's something. Can I see the map here? Okay, so now we've sold everything. We got the, all the experience we can. Now let's go on that bird house and see if we can actually detect the evil spirit. Now let's go. interesting loading screens yeah the performance is a bit all over the place you usually have 60 fps on max graphics here but there are some uh, drop frames now and then okay let's look around can you feel it is the smell of mystery now oh, what is this thing you will be mine Secret. When it did. Okay. Oh, we have one point. Did. What is this? Reduce focus by one additional point if the enemy is in a suffering state. Okay, we might get that. Anything else here? Come on. Let's see, a charred rag doll, it appears old. The doll is caked with hard crust of fear. Its layers are like the varnish of an old aged old painting. A child's fear, a girl's terror, a young woman's dread. They form a cocoon smelling of turpentine that constricts the throat and forces tears from the eyes. Okay, so this is a, another trace of Vesna. That lady that doesn't open the door. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the one that tracks the demon here. Yeah, something happened, and I think she has uh, guilt that she killed this, uh, the elder. I'm pretty sure there was an accident or something. I guess we're gonna find out. Uh, can we talk to this guy? What do you expect to find in this place? The fire was almost a year ago. <sighs> Time doesn't matter much here. I'm looking for clues and personal traces that will lead me to whoever is carrying the floor that lured the salutar here. I see. I thought I could be helpful to you, but... I don't really understand what you're telling me. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. Uh, explain what traces are. Uh... Why did you want to come here with me? I have never gotten to know a Thaumaturge so closely. I'd like to learn as much as possible about your abilities. 
People always leave behind individual bits of their personality, even on everyday objects and such. I can decipher the thoughts and actions imprinted on these objects, and then match them to their owner. This lets me gather immense knowledge about a person, especially if I need to find someone. What else can you do? Oh, that's a big tale. Let's see. Above all, flaws are deeply hidden marks left on human souls. They form under the influence of tragic events. What does that have to do with salutors? Is that Latin? Yes, from the word newcomer. People have always taken salutors to be spirits, demons, or imps. Like from those fairy tales, the wise woman and the other old crones tell the locals. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, those sorts of fairy tales and legends describe how humans perceive a salutor. They don't take a physical form. Salutors are attracted to the flaws hidden within people. Thaumaturges discover these flaws inside someone, bring them to the surface, and adopt them to lure the salutor. Those are the moments when I've usually failed. I haven't been able to hold on to a salutor. I didn't know how to bind one to myself. What about you? Do you have a flaw? Mm -hmm. Don't reveal your flaw to him and change the subject. Yeah, let's not tell him everything yet. It doesn't matter. The important thing is that I can now catch my next saluta. Make another bond with it and its power will allow me to start influencing people. Thanks to your help, I can once again discover people's flaws and the salutors hiding behind them. And I think I'm now able to catch my second salutor. Yeah, it's like Pokemon, we have to catch them all. Now let's see, say why having multiple salutors is dangerous. If I do manage to catch another salutor, that would be a very rare occurrence, in fact. An ordinary thaumaturge wouldn't even try more than once. Only a few have multiple salutars. Why? Hmm, say they are cowards, tell him what happened to you when you tried it once. Yeah, let's not feed the pride again. The proud owner, it's not only draws from your flow. Pride's level, but they will also feed it even more. Should we keep feeding proud? Or does it fuck things up? Now well, let's go for the second option. Some have lost their lives trying, others their senses. We're defeated it twice. I was close to madness. I lost my sense of reality. I didn't know what was true. But I know I can do it. I'm almost a hundred percent sure. Isn't this exactly the sort of thinking that caused your problems that led you to me? That doesn't matter anymore. Then what's changed? This time, I've got you with me. I need to look around this place a little more. Hmm. I won't stop you. Yeah, the voice acting is pretty decent in this game. And as I said before, the setting is really interesting. Okay, we're gonna check this door. Door frame. and destroyed door frame by some miracle, it survived the fire. Thick lines of the wood grain are visible on the frame. They arrange themselves into words carved sharply. As if by a chisel, they scream about the attempt to break down the door, but the hinge is finally letting go. They scream into a space that doesn't respond. Fear has embedded itself deep in the fabric of the door frame, fear of the flames, and trepidation about losing a loved one. Hmm, trace familiar, impetuous person. Who is that? Hmm, let's see. The blood sounds like suffering. It flowed quickly. The wood inflicted with the scissors wasn't large. Oh, but it was accurate. Life left the body and heart went into a spasm. And the mind recognized the end. It lasted for some time and then the flames came and the pain resounded anew. Huh. Okay. Anything else? Hmm. Oh, what is this thing? Oh, we can talk to our boy here. Wait a minute, we have this thing. Now, this needs. Deed. Okay, uh, where is that thing? 
Hmm. Reduce focus by one additional point if the enemy is in suffering state. Later on, we get Bond of Brutality. Increase the damage from the Saltor's next attack by 50. We're gonna go on this thing. Get these abilities. Hmm. Okay, let's get a deed by one. Okay. A charred old treasure built with heavy metal buckle. The buckle cuts through leather like laser. Or eraser. It's no longer a boring piece of clothing, but a tormentor's tool. Oh! That descends on exposed flesh like a, a vulture. It pecks at it, leaving harmony woods. Once, twice, thrice. It cuts dips all the way to the soul. Huh. Now, somebody tells me that that lady that doesn't want to talk to me wanted to marry that, uh, her husband. But this elder tried to prevent it. Was her father? Was he her father and actually beat her down because he didn't approve the marriage? And that's why they had a quarrel and she actually stabbed him with the scissors. And uh, he was dying and they, the husband or someone or even herself started the fire to cover this thing. Hmm, I think that's what happened here. Let's see. Let's see if I'm correct. This house was always full of fear. And its owner was still alive when the house caught fire. Someone wanted to kill him. The fire only covered up the crime. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's our next beast. The murder gave birth to the flaw that you attached to, didn't it? I'll find you when I track down the murderer. I know who owns this doll. Maybe I should give them back to her. Okay, back to the lady. She ought to know more about what happened here. Vesna's trace. The same trace can be filled on the ragdoll, the item dropped by the woman. Let's see if I'm correct. Vesna smells of fear. Her nerves are badly strained. Her heart is trembling, her fingers are stiff from anxiety, and her mind wanders, lost in the wilderness of fear. I may be able to find her home and discover what's behind her. This is her condition. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm right about what happened. I hope you've got what you want now, Thaumaturge. Because I think it's time to get out of here. Oh, a combat, okay. Are we gonna have uh, Rasputin on our hurry, side? Father, we are the Tsar's man. How about the donation for the Tsar's army? There are no Russian outposts here. I think this is the guy with the nice boots. You're the guy who trashed our comrades? Hmm. Say yes, that can do it again. Say that the odds are even now. Say it wasn't you. Fuck it. Let's let's go. Let's kick the, these guys. I can do exactly the same to all of you. Le, yeah, let's assert dominance to these guys. As he looks. He actually looks better than he did the other day. <laughs> See, but he's scared. Counting the priest. He's still alone. Not anymore. I'm not. Yeah, let's kick their asses now. Okay, I've just upgraded. No, no. Well, let's start right away. Okay, let's see. He has the more HP. And use the focus on this boy. Now. My boy will attack this guy. Uh, let's change target. How do we change the target here? Uh... Okay, like that. Okay, let's go on this boy. And... Inflicts damage. The target's health point determines how much damage the skill inflicts. The more health points, the higher the damage. Yeah, let's go with this one. Inflict the... Remove the focus on this boy. Now let's go for the concussion attack. This will almost kill him. Plus there is 60% chance for double damage. Oh, double damage. <laughs> One shot to the guy. Fuck you. Mm. Okay, we can kill this guy with this thing. Plus my boy. He hasn't acted yet. He's the last one. Yeah, goes for 12 hit. Cut. Oh, he's the one that will add second. 
let's see. I'm gonna interrupt this guy with 50% chance of losing uh, the ability there. Now this guy will act and uh, yeah, will act second. I'm gonna do this. This will give me some HP back. Oh yeah, we fucked this action. Ha! <laughs> Fuck you! Okay, we got some damage. Now, I think we can one-shot this guy. And yeah, we got some HP there. Oh. Okay, he's still alive. Mm. Five to six. Yeah, this will get this guy down. Now my boy will attack him with this thing so we can heal again. Fuck you. One hit to the kidneys. Okay. I think we can You're do this answer. better, but still, that was decent. Me? Yes, but can these salutors also help you in a fight? Can you manipulate people and cast these demons into their minds? Generally speaking, yes. Are you sure you're right, sir? Call me Grigori. Well, now he likes Let's us. Head back. I have to visit someone in the village who can tell me more about what happened here. Okay, let's go. Oh, by the way, do I have a new ability there? Sorry. Uh, your skill. Uh, I'm gonna open this up. Uh, Thaumaturgy skills. Reduce focus by one additional point if the enemy is in the suffering state. Uh. Hmm. I guess this is... Yeah, it's better to use it here. So it interrupts... Hmm, let's see, get this upgrade here. So this will interrupt their action. I like this one better. Use this to interrupt the actions and let's so remove the focus. But now, if we use this, this will actually remove two focus. If it's on a suffering state. Hmm. Nah, nah. Let's uh, let's use it like we used it before. Go like this. Place that here. Okay, let's go. Wait, Grigori, I'm coming. And yeah, we check everything here. Okay, back to the village. Now let's talk to this lady. Hello? Oh, oh. Oh, we can actually talk to this guy first. It's like talking to ourselves when we talk now with I Dupir. Know that woman's trace. Vesna and her husband both left traces of themselves at the Vasili's burned out farmstead. Lucas sincerely loves his wife. You think he loves her strongly enough to kill for her? You're right. It'd be better to ask Vesna about that. Okay, nice chatting with you. Let's see. I wanted to talk. Ma'am, please open the door. Please go. We didn't invite any guests over. Please open the door. I I'd like to have a chat about your husband. Oh yeah, you're polite, all right. Let's see, Vesna but Luca. It's clear that this is not the first time Vesna has threatened someone with her husband. Luca must not have the best reputation in the village. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm correct about my conclusions. The elder didn't want Vesna to marry Luca. That's how all the things started. Residency Luca's a solemn child. 
and the recluse. However, he seems to have a soft spot. Luca was at Vasil's house at their night, the murder and fire took place. I know you're scared, but please just open the door a crack and let me ask one quick question. Oh, what do she you came want? out. Calm her down and make her feel safe. How to convince Vince not to let you in, give her the little doll. Let's calm her down first. Please, don't be afraid. I just need to know where I can find your husband. He's chopping wood in the clearing by the forest. Oh, that's it? What? That's it? I wanted to give it. Oh my god, I wanted to give it here the doll. Hmm. Okay. Will you lose anything by doing that? Does that affect my. The ending or the quest? We don't lose any mana or something, so, so I can always manipulate them if I can. Thaumaturgy never fails me. There is something here. Oh, what? Oh, look at that. Now there is something new here. Huh. Saint's icon. A hand painted icon. I think it's the Saint Fekla, the martyr. A wise woman's hands hover around the Saint's head. They arrange themselves into gestures, subtle, pure as snowflakes. Words of the spell sparkle life like stars and sincerely beseech heaven for protection. For a girl who suffers evil on earth, who suffers too much of it. Oh, okay. Didn't notice this before. You've been growing in so many Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now we can actually accuse her of putting a curse on Vasily. Ask her how Vasily's death has affected the village. Let's start with this and one. That tragedy at the elders' farm. Did it affect people badly? Some less, others more. He was like an icon to some folk here. But I found out he could be heavy-handed. He was a drinker and a beater. So, some folk here don't miss him one bit. Mm, okay. Have you got many more nosy questions? Mm, yeah. The wise woman revealed that Vesna sought help for their regarding her father's behavior. She was fed up with the violence he was feeling. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally right what, what happened, how Vasily died. You cursed him, didn't you? Vesna's father. You put some hex on him, right? No spell. I help people, yes. Visna had a problem with her father, and believes in curses, spells, and hexes. Is that all? Because, like I said, I don't want to waste time and die here gabbing with you. Hmm. Okay, Vasily had a dark side. A man who was a rock for the entire village became an abuser at home. He tortured Vesna for many years, turning her life into a nightmare. Yeah, I was right. Vesna came here for help, didn't she? Vasily drank and beat her, and no one did anything about it. So you put that curse of yours on him. I even went to talk to him. How did you know that? Hmm. Let's go and let's admit that to her. I am a thaumaturge. You people's magic. That's something I've got oh, to Oh yeah? Do. Really? Go on. For me giving Vasily a piece of my mind. He took it out on Vesna. And then her husband walked in and killed Vasily. And he's the one my salutor latched onto. As for the second thing, could be. But it wasn't Luca that... Yeah, I was right again. It was Vesna. Are you sure? I was there. And until now. Only two people knew what happened there. Vesna and me. Don't be scared. I'll do my best to help you. Then I think we have to talk to Vesna. Okay, we'll go back to here. Let's again give her the doll now. Murderess. It was Vesna who murdered her father. She did it in a fit of passion. Her husband had nothing to do with it. Elder's death. <laughs> and here we go with the conclusion. Lost in time. Vesna's father was her tormentor. We are guided here to the wise woman who sought help for her, for her with the support of earthly and heavenly forces. But that didn't work. Desperate Vesna reached for her last resort. She murdered her cruel father, handling him over to the nothingness. <laughs> oh, anything else here? No, by the way, uh, did we gain a point? Oh yeah, we have one more point. Mm, restore three focus. Or we can get this this beauty. The punch to the face. Okay, I'm gonna see what we're gonna get later on. 
And I like how the game actually allows you to put new talents when a combat starts. In case you actually didn't have time to use them before the, the skill points. Okay, let's go. Please open up. There's no need to be afraid. Just open the door. You're gonna wear yourself out banging the door like that. Can't you see nobody there? Oh, where is I'm she? I'm looking for Vesna. I have to speak to her. Am I stopping you? Nobody there. I'm sure she went to see the hubby at work. Go bother them in the clearing instead of pounding on empty house door. Oh, thank you. Everyone is so eager to get in the fight on these villas. Okay, for the forest clearing. Is he gonna come with me? Okay, I guess so. I guess we go towards the... The guy with the horse. We shall talk later. Okay, look at that. This guy is back at the work. Talking with ladies. What are you sniffing around for? Yeah, this womanizer. Okay, let's see. Again? Mm -hmm. This time it's a matter of life and yeah, I'm really busy tonight. Today, sorry. How is your search go? Almost finished. I know who's attracting the Bukavach. Can you reveal that secret? It's Vesna. Do you still want to catch that salutor? Yes, absolutely. Despite the risk? I hope I can persuade you to come with me. That's an enormous favor you're asking me. I hope you'll be able to return it. I give my word. Not much to think about here. If we can help Vesna, then get this nag quick to clearing like Mr. Shulsky asks. Okay, let's go. Are we going to have the whole group with us? The wise woman and the Rasputin? Oh yeah, everyone came. Okay. Yeah, yeah. give me a second. Yeah, let's look around in case we can find some hints. With our detective vision here. Okay, nothing so far. Vesna, child. We have to talk. I'm not here to fight. Oh, here is the guy from the beginning. You shouldn't have threatened my wife. I know what you did. You don't know what you're saying. On the contrary, she's the one who brought the Bukovac here. She killed Vasily. When the wise woman's spell didn't have an effect, you decided to finish him off yourself, didn't you? You're the one who killed your father. And I'd do it again if I could. Oh, here comes the crack. Get out of here! Here you are, the Book of Art. Oh, here he comes. Vesna's floor is mine, and you're mine. Okay, boss fight. Fighting wild Salutors. <laughs> okay, that, that's like a super evil Pokemon. To defeat a wild Salutor, you must get rid of the shadows that protect him. Vanquishing the shadows will weaken him, but the weaker he is, the more fiercely he will fight back. The bar tells you when the wild Salutor sends more enemies against you. Okay, so he has summons. Okay. Let's see. First, we have to improve our summon Turji here. Uh. Okay, nothing else we didn't do here. Oh, acquired flaws with the pride. Increase the hard dimension force by one. Hmm. Now we can get more flaws. Okay, we don't have any upgrades. There's my summons. Okay, we have one more point. Let's see. Restore focus. Now we can get this action or reaction. What is this thing? Is it like a counter attack? 
uh, does 8 to 9 points. Hmm. Increase the inflicting damage by 50%. This is pretty good. Anyway, fuck it. Let's go here. Okay, now. Where is this uh, building? Action, reaction, quick attack. Oh, this increase. Okay, let's see. Is this uh, the upgrade of this one? Okay, let's get the, this upgrade on that one then. Mm, maximum amount of damage. Interrupting. Stands for double damage. Yeah, okay. Let's go. Start the fight. Okay, this looks pretty cool. Okay, this is that Shadow of uh, her husband, I guess. Slow swing. Doom. What is that? Mm, cast suffering. Receive damage 3 to 4 at the end of each round. I cannot target this guy, the Bukavach. We can only do damage on this one. Mm. Okay, let's inflict some damage like that. Go with this. This will remove one point of focus and they might interrupt this action. Mm. Oh, now it's one and two. Can we go a combo here? How does this work? Let me check this thing out. Oh, okay. So we do the first, and then there is a. Oh, okay, okay. Book of has caused you to enter the suffering state. States can uh, have benign or potential deadly effect. Read their description carefully and not get caught off. Okay, now what's my suffering state? Now let's see. I receive damage 3 to 4 at the end of every round. The effect attacks 4 times. Okay, now we can do this. You will uh, get this one to heal. Okay, he's almost done. Yeah, this will be faster than him. Yeah, let's go. Okay, thanks for that. Yeah, we'll have to constantly heal ourselves here. Okay, now have the shadows again. Fuck you. Oh yeah, this one we can uh, kill with one shot. Reduce focus. Remove. Let's see. Target with here with this thing. Hmm. Yeah, let's keep using this to heal myself. Use that one on this guy. So we can one shot him later on. Oh, anyway, remove remove his action. That's good. Okay, now let's use concussion on this guy. Bye bye. This motherfucker. Okay, now this lady is about to hit me for uh, 3 to 5. Remove that. Over the healing again. Okay, we remove your action. Nice. Mm. Inflicts damage. 9 to 12. What the fuck? Can I target this guy? Not yet. Mm. What is this thing? Makes every attack on the kill maximum amount of damage. Suffering obligations. Reduce restore health by 40%. What the hell? This guy is fucking me up. Uh, can I heal somewhat other than this ability? Mm. Okay, let's remove another focus on her here. 
Oh, heal me up, dude. Okay, we remove your hit again. Nice. But the hole is fucking me up. And we died. Hmm. Okay, let's load. Auto save. Is there a way to heal myself more? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know what to do now. Get here. Restore focus. Uh, let's see. Makes you lose focus instead of taking damage. I think I'm gonna get this thing. Uh, upgrades. Makes you lose focus instead of taking damage with the ratio of 4 to 1. Now, let's see. Get this thing out. Hmm, I think I'm gonna... Give me, give me a second, I'm gonna... Say in some things around here. Okay, maximum damage for this. Stands for double damage. Uh, let's see, get this thing here. This is then chance to lose the action. So now we can do fast damage instead of only losing killing focus. Hmm. Yeah, let's see. Six percent of going for full damage. I think I'm gonna keep this one here and get the team. Oh. oh, I cannot get both of them. What? There are two upgrades we can do. Oh, okay. We can only have one. Oh, yeah. So let's get this thing then. Oh, yeah. Now we have a mana shield of sorts. So let's see if that helps. Hmm. Okay, he will act later on. By the way, I'm curious how much damage that ability does of this guy. Of my dude. Okay, no problem. Can this remove all the focus? Okay, it reduces by one. Yeah, sorry, I wanted to test this ability out. Mm. Use that, use the healing ability. Okay, now we have the mana shield. Uh, let's see. Enemy defeated, action cancelled. Okay, now this guy... This one has one, one point of focus. This lady have billion. Okay, nice. Kill this guy. Fuck you. Hmm. What is this thing? Reduce their stall here by 40. Yeah. How we get this complication effect? Is it because of the ability? Flex damage, flex damage. Hmm. What should I do now? This lady is gonna be able to attack me soon. Fuck it, let's heal her. Heal her fast. Okay, we remove your ability. Use this casting. Okay. Oh. 
Okay, I don't think this is a damage of this guy will kill here. Um uh, What the hell? Yeah, the healing is terrible now. Come on, can I do damage on this boy? You acquire the flow. Vehemence. Oh, that's it. We don't fight the big guy. Lose, you lose. You're going crazy again, you blind fool. A little faith, Thaumaturge. Focus on what's true. My voice is true. I am the truth, you see. Look. With the power of Rasputin, with the power of friendship, let's do this. Taming Saltor, you defeated the Bukavats, the Deep Dimension Saltor, but you cannot tame him on your own. Rasputin comes to your help. The untamed Saltor won't obey your orders, stops you from developing, and weakens your perception. Fortunately, Rasputin soothes his anger to achieve the unachievable. Oh, look at that. Yeah, now we have two Pokemons here. Unbelievable. How do you feel? Are you all right? Well, I don't think I'm hallucinating, but that means I'm currently facing a crowd of furious lumberjacks with axes, so I'd say I've been better. What? What? I'm telling the truth. I'd do it again. None of you understand anything. It's because of this magician. It's his fault. The magician didn't kill Vasily. He didn't bring the evil here! You're a witch! To the stake with her! To the stake! Oh, here comes the stake. Then kill me too! I was there. I saw everything. Vasily, Bach. You're a big man now. But when he was beating Vesna for years, no one lifted a finger. Bah! Now you're also brave against her. Go home, pray better, and leave her alone. Okay, that was an easy solution. Just if the old lady feeds them uh, a few things and send them home. Okay, that's it. What if we have uh, another chapter or this will be the end? By the way, let me check here. Oh, here's our boy. And here, he's a build this. Oh, damn, he does a lot of damage here. Hmm. Okay, and I also... Yeah, we have these three. Increase the damage of the Saltor, but next attack by 50. I wonder, can we actually change uh, Saltors in combat? Or we have to use... Uh, to choose which one to use at the beginning. Agony skill, cause the state of an random enemy. Suffering received damage three. Oh, is the ability he did on me? It's a dot ability, does damage over time. And what's that? Bloody rejuvenation. Restore four of your health points for every enemy in the suffering state. It's subsequent action that restores health points will restore less of it. Okay. And we have one point. I'm gonna use it later on. Or we can hmm. get this thing up. Okay, fuck it, let's get this. Now we got an upgrade. Increase the damage of the shelter next to the by 50. Oh, old wood. Okay, so we have quick attacks, plan attacks, damage over time, and in influences. Suffering received damage at the end of every round. Hmm, here, yeah, let's get this. Oh. One, if they're in a suffering state. Mm, this is pretty good combination of this one. Now let's get this thing for now. Hello. Oh, we're living. Okay, that's it, I guess. Excuse me, sir. Do you happen to know when the train arrives? Master said it's usually no more than an hour late, so it should be here any moment. I got a tougher question for you. Uh, pardon? 
Will this train get me close to Albuquerque? What the hell, dude? I'm afraid that's an ocean away. And even to the ocean, you've got a ways to go. Thank you. Ever since I took a wrong turn to Albuquerque, <laughs> I can't get my bearings. The things I've seen, sir. Places I've been. I just can't get to Albuquerque. Wrong turn to Albuquerque. Okay, is that a Bugs Bunny reference? Okay, that's interesting. Oh, anything else here? No. Yeah, I guess we're back to Warsaw now that we got some upgrades with the help of Rasputin. I wanted to send two telegrams, one to Warsaw and one to Paris. Mr. Shulsky, I was meant to send for you when the driver came to get the mail. Okay, what's My new? condolences about your father. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I knew it. Was that because he actually... Did he cause it? Do you still want to send something? Or it's bad timing? You gain message from the gear. Oh, Rasputin is here. Did you come to say goodbye to me? More like to share my fear. Your condition yesterday, after the fight with that Bukovac, it troubled me. I don't think my treatments are having a long lasting effect. And you don't look the best. Do you feel all right? Mm. I've just heard that my father is dead. My condolences. After your treatment, when I was hallucinating, I saw him. I heard his voice for the first time in years. I'm sure it was him. A strange feeling. Maybe he came to say goodbye. Maybe it was his last chance to speak to you. A prophecy. Maybe. I hope not. And the prophecy wasn't that what good. What do you intend to do now? Mm. You just have to change your plans. You've got to go to Warsaw. I have to bury my father in Warsaw. Hmm. Is he going to come with us? What about you? Thanks to you. I don't think I have anything else to do here. I had a little time to think about what I saw in your mind. Tell me, Victor. Have you ever seen a human skull cracked open on the cobblestones? Mm. <laughs> Let's go with the second option. Your question sounded like a threat. Because it is for all of us. I have. The skull of Franz Ferdinand oh, himself, okay, here we go. with his brain spilling out onto the sidewalk. I also saw the white steps in Odessa running with blood. A battlefield blanketed in okay, so he can see the future. with faceless beings emerging from it. This hasn't happened yet, but I saw it as clearly as I see you now. Thanks to you, I know that I can stop it. Mm. I know okay, that so I am part to of history, first world war? and I can change it. Even at the cost of scorn, contempt, or my life. You promised me a favor, so Warsaw sounds perfect. Okay, so he's coming with us. Are we gonna be a bad duo? Victor and Rasputin to new adventures. The Thamaturge. And title drop. Let's see, is this the end of the demo? Probably. Oh, what? It continues? Really? Okay, didn't expect that. Okay, here we go. Oh, 
are gonna be like a metaphysical detective now. Who look like one. Or like the Costa Dine of Poland. Nah, no, this is probably another dream of his father. Warsawa! Warsaw! Warsaw! Last stop, Warsaw! Time to wake up! It's clouding over. The weather is like my mood. Aside from the circumstances of the funeral bringing you back, you hadn't thought of ever returning here? Hmm. Let's see. See? Not under circumstances like this. Read him what the papers say about Warsaw. Tell him what you think about Warsaw. Hmm. I definitely didn't expect I'd be coming to my father's funeral so early. I've noticed you two had certain differences in your views on life. Yes, especially on my life. But admittedly, that's not a very exciting discovery. Is that all you've learned about me on our journey? You drool in your sleep. <laughs> Any thinking there about Warsaw? Hmm. Giving a brief overview of the news. Workers are striking. They want to take advantage of the Tsar's visit to Warsaw. The protests are being violently suppressed. Last week, around a dozen people were killed. Polish Socialist Party militants attacked a train. They stole money, bonds, and explosive materials. Okay, that sounds... They're also suspected of robbing a transport of... Dutch pomade? The socialist in Warsaw must look pretty sharp then. Further along, we've got murders, muggings, and poverty. Sounds like a nice place. Papers feed on sensation. Remember that in darkness, even a small spark can be seen clearly. Even I can feel hope from all the people riding with us. Can't you? Mm, tell him that you have sense the passages of your journey. Go back to reading. Uh, let's go with this one. Even without my powers, I can tell that hope is bringing people here from all three partitions. Miners, steelworkers, governesses, maids, speculators, thieves. I've forgotten to read a few of our fellow passengers' possessions, and I know that hope can have many faces. Will you share that knowledge with me? Mm. No, let's go with that. There's a terrified woman riding with us. She's either running away or in hiding. I think that gentleman is smuggling something because excitement is all mixed up with guilt inside him. In this dandy, he's going whoring. If there's <laughs> something I've learned in life, Victor, it's never to neglect the whores. <laughs> okay. Warsaw, and of the line. Welcome to Warsaw. I think the time's come to ask where you plan to stay. He's probably gonna visit the brothel. I'll let you know when I come up with something. Oh, look at that. Oh, full story and eleven bits to this present. A feeling of deja vu washed over me upon receiving your last telegram. Yet again, you're off traveling to some distant lands while I stay here nursing the hope you will one day visit us in Warsaw. I miss the old days when things seemed so simple. Even if we already knew back then, we may never be truly free. I long for the chance to show you how much our city has changed. To let you hear all these different languages that now echo down the streets we once aimlessly wander together. Yet all that is mere fantasy. 
The past is gone, never to return, it seems. Just like you, my dear brother, who risks his life in search of otherworldly beings and their hosts. Sometimes I think it is for the best that I do not share this gift with you and Papa. Maybe that's why I can see things more clearly, just as they are. Okay, Therefore, good. I beg you, Victor, come back to us and reconcile with your father. Too late now. You never know when it will be too late. Affectionately, your sister, Ligia. Okay, I guess that was a demo. And we got a glimpse of the other uh, salutors we're gonna have later on, the other summons. Well, I guess that was the demo of the amateurs. This is a pretty interesting... Uh, isometric uh, turn-based RPG that's really story heavy and has a really interesting and unique uh, setting yeah we're playing um, these uh, thaumaturgs on the turn of the century in Poland before uh, it, <laughs> the revolution in Russia and before the first world war and as you saw there it has some vibes of a body cup movie we're gonna I guess travel with uh, Rasputin at least for some parts and uh, solve some uh, metaphysical mysteries and try to uncover some things about I guess the past of our main character and uh, the troubles the troubled past he had with his father I'm gonna find more uh, things to summon and I guess we're gonna try to prevent the first world war and I, I guess there will be some metaphysical uh, connection to all the bad things that are coming to the world yeah I guess the Franz Ferdinand is <laughs> being killed by some other thaumaturgs or something or another being from another dimension who knows well that was a really interesting game for sure now this game will be out on a uh, GOG Steam and uh, Epic Store so yeah only on PC at the moment but you, you have a uh, plenty of options if you want to play it when it's out as you see it's uh, yeah it's not that far away the release of this one if you like what you saw here go wishlist the game and check it out when it's out yeah, th this was pretty interesting, that's for sure. And I like when they are actually creating uh, RPGs with unique settings. Yeah, and I I also I like how this one combines uh, folklore tales from uh, another culture, in this case, Polis. And I have to say, uh, there are a lot of uh, cool Polis studios out there. If, if I remember correctly, yeah, City Project Red is from Poland, so yeah, I guess they have now... Uh, a big history of uh, studios creating cool games. Yeah, that was uh, pretty cool. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wishlist this one. It's really interesting. Pretty decent voice acting, cool graphics, and uh, interesting setting. That was the demo of the Amadeurs. I hope you like it.